Here are five problems people should watch out for as they age. Patients ask me, doctor, why did I get this problem? Unfortunately, there are a lot of eye problems that are associated with just getting older. But fortunately, there are lots of good treatments out there for many of them. Hi, I'm Dr. Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and a glaucoma specialist. And today we're gonna talk about the aging process and how it can affect your eyes. Problem number one. Presbyopia. Presbyopia is gonna happen to everyone, unfortunately. Presbyopia means the inability to read up close. There's another video on the channel that talks more about it and another video that also talks about how you can start picking out reading glasses when it does start to happen. So when presbyopia exactly hits is gonna vary from person to person, but generally you're gonna to start to see it between the ages of 40 and 45. Problem number two, dry eyes. Dry eye becomes way more common as we get older. A 2014 publication in the Journal of Ophthalmology emphasizes that aging is a very significant risk factor to getting dry eyes, which affects both the quality and the quantity of the tears that you make. The article shows that the prevalence of dry eye is around 8.4% in anyone who is younger than 60, and it goes up to 15% in someone who is 70 to 79, and about 20% in patients who are over 80 years old. Now, some of the reasons for this include decreased tear production as we age, and the lacrimal glands, which are responsible for tear production, may become less efficient with age as well. There can also be changes in the tear composition, which means the quality of the tears can go down with aging, which will lead to faster evaporation and insufficient lubrication of the eyes. Also, hormonal changes, especially in women like those associated with menopause, can also contribute to dry eye. Problem number three, cataracts. Now cataracts are a normal change of aging. While some cataracts can happen because of surgery or trauma or metabolic disorders, the vast majority of cataracts happen just because the lens of your eye is getting older and an older lens is something that we call a cataract when it becomes cloudy and patients cannot see through it. Cataracts are actually treated by surgery and it's the most commonly performed surgery in the entire world because everyone in the entire world, if you live long enough, will get a cataract eventually. If a cataract is not surgically removed, it can cause blindness. And in certain countries that have very limited access to medical care, cataracts actually are a leading cause of blindness. Problem number four, glaucoma. You guys have heard me talk about glaucoma a lot on this channel. There are many risk factors for glaucoma and you will find other videos about that on this channel, but age is a huge factor for developing glaucoma. The prevalence of glaucoma increasing with age is well established in the medical community. In 2018, a meta-analysis was published in the NIH library that analyzed data from 50 previous studies. The meta-analysis found a clear age-related trend. The prevalence of glaucoma was 1.1% in people who were between the ages of 40 and 49, to 9.2% in people who were over the age of 80. So screening for glaucoma is really important as we get older, and it's also important in our younger years because you could fall in that 1%. Problem number five, macular degeneration. Now, age-related macular degeneration is exactly that. It is more common as we get older, and there is a strong and well-established connection between increasing age and a higher prevalence of macular degeneration, often abbreviated as AMD. It is important to mention that a genetic predisposition also plays a role. This means that if you have a family member with a history of AMD, you are at an increased risk for developing macular degeneration. Now the last and most important thing to know about all the eye problems I just mentioned that are associated with aging is that in some cases, each of the previously mentioned problems can happen in younger people. It's not as common, but this is why it's so important to get your eyes examined by an ophthalmologist because certain things like glaucoma do have really, really effective treatments available. Hope you found this helpful. Please support the channel by subscribing below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.